Its worst Saturday night's wind and thunderstorms knocked power out for more than 40,000 MLGW customers. And some small pockets of Shelby are still in the dark tonight. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland says MLGW's power outages are, in his words, unacceptable. Yeah, the mayor also said that MLGW did not tell anybody how bad the infrastructure problems were before the city spent $240 million on smart meters. Local 24 reporter Mike Matthews reports all new at 6. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland likes to talk about his team and Public Works and their employees are a big important member of his team. But he says another thing he's concerned about is, well, what he's seeing with Memphis Light Gas and Water right now. Ask Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland whether this weekend's power outage and the others involving light gas and water were unacceptable. Oh, absolutely. He is upset. Absolutely, about all the infrastructure problems. It is true. Light, gas, and water told members of the Memphis City Council how bad their troubles were when asking for a big rate increase. They didn't get it, and the problems still exist. But the mayor says these problems didn't just pop up within the last year or so. I wish they had really told us about the infrastructure deficit they had because we might have funded improvement of the infrastructure instead of the smart meters. Strickland was on the Memphis City Council and voted in favor of spending $240 million for smart meter installation. We can't rewrite that history, uh, but now the administration of MLG and W is talking about the infrastructure, uh, which obviously has been brewing for a long time, probably decades, but we need to do something about it. And this is why the mayor is following the Light, Gas and Water Advisory Committee meetings. These folks will recommend MLGW either keep buying power from TVA or from another provider. We had four reports show a potential savings of two to four hundred million dollars, which could be used maybe to fund the, the uh, you know, upgrade in the infrastructure. Mayor Strickland was one of the first to say he wanted this study done quickly. He wanted to see how the Tennessee Valley Authority would shape up with the other companies with those savings that many studies have reported. So he's watching. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.